Good day folks, today we're going to have a look at a Bosch uh, dishwasher uh, heat pump. The part number of this heat pump is 00651956 and this is a brand new one from BSH. Um, so we need to, uh, this uh, dishwasher pump is quite special in the sense that it's got the heating element built into it and it's got a temperature sensor built into the wash motor itself. The wash motor is a three-phase brushless motor um, which makes the Bosch dishwasher very very quiet. So today the purpose of this video is to get the resistance windings of the heating element, the temperature sensor and the motor. And this will be very useful when we are diagnosing faults with the wash pump. So today we will take some readings on the heating element. So there are three pins over here. The first pin over here is your earth pin. And the second two big pins over here are your heating element. So let me just organize myself a bit. So this is our earth pin, the very first one. And the second two are our heating elements. So typically the resistance of the heating element is between 19 and 20 ohms roughly, which is what it is. So we're leading 19.1, 19.0 19 ohms. So it's about 19 ohms. The temperature sensor can be modeled like two resistors in series. So it's got three pins over here. Between pin one and two, we should roughly have about 12 kilo ohms. Here it's saying 11.72, 11.72 kilo ohms. And then we should have between pin one and three roughly double the, double the resistance. So we have 23.45. So the whole uh, temperature sensor can be modeled as two resistors in parallel. So between, between the first and the second, so we can sort of draw the temperature sensor as two resistors in, in series, sorry. So we get something like that. That's your pin one, pin two, pin three. So between here and here, you get roughly about 12 kilo ohms. And between, uh, between these two points, you get another 12 kilo ohms. So it sort of adds up to 24 kilo ohms, roughly. So that's just a rough model of the uh, dishwasher temperature sensor. So the motor used on the Bosch um, wash pump is a three-phase brushless motor and it's got three pins or terminals at the back and the resistance sorry I just need to get the connection over here the resistance between each and every terminal on a three-phase motor should be balanced okay so yeah let me just fix my Switch off the beeper. It's about 47 ohms between pin 47.6 ohms between one and two terminal, and between terminal one and three, I would expect the same amount of resistance roughly, and I'd expect the same resistance between pin 2 and pin 3. So in a good wash pump, you'd expect equal resistances. So here we have, I've just written this all down to summarize, summarize the resistance readings. So Bosch heat pump 00651956. Heater resistance on a good pump is between 19 and 20 ohms. 
The temperature sensor resistance is between 12, uh, 12 kilo ohms between 1 and 2. So it's pin 1 and 2. And pin 1 and 3, you ha should have 24 kilo ohms. The three-phase brushless motor should have 47 ohms roughly between the terminals. So that is our first part. Now, another good aspect when testing these um, on a good wash pump, we also will use a mega tester this time. Use a mega tester. I like to use this on 500 volts insulation testing to test my heater terminals. So usually I go from the earth terminal and the heater terminals and you should get infinite resistance which is what we're getting which is good and infinite resistance once again. So actually we'll test that again. We're getting good resistance very high infinite resistance between the terminals so that tells us that our motor is good now we will compare this on a bad wash pump as well so we can see the difference between the good and uh, good and the bad um, on a bad um, bad wash pump you will have a drop in resistance I have a, a dishwasher which is actually shorting out to earth so the heater tunnels are shorting to earth uh, having very low resistance and you'll when you do an insulation test between the live terminals and the earth you have low insulation resistance